Hi guys, I'm Charlie from Asian Petra. Today I'm at beautiful Zhongno City, not for sightseeing, but actually to show you the 2023 refreshed Hyundai Palisades. Yes, you might have seen it through New York Auto Show, but today let me just show you the Korean spec model and see if there's any difference. So let's take a look at the Palisade house. Yeah, we do not have much time, but I'm hearing there's going to be also a uh, first drive, so stay tuned. I really am very happy to show you the new Hyundai Palisade, because as some of you might know, I am currently driving 2019 Hyundai Palisade. So let's start with the uh, front design. Um, right up front, we have a new grille, which is wider and looking more bold. This is actually a calligraphy model. Uh, it also comes with silver. That's regular one comes with the black, but looks bolder, I think. It used to be a little bit curvy up here, but it just comes down straight, looking very bold and solid looking. And uh, Hyundai is very good at hiding things. Uh, this is actually a turn signal. Um, if you see that one, it's uh, just like a, another pattern, but also works as a turn signal. And um, it also comes with a new headlamp system. I uh, found something new for the uh, Korean spec model because uh, for US spec model, it only comes with two light elements, while this guy comes with three elements. I don't know why they are distinguishing that difference, but it is what it is, okay? But looks much better in my opinion so uh, i wanted to show you the headlamp system but it's it does not work so i'll try to show you during the uh, first drive and because this is calligraphy model we have a little pattern on the bottom chrome pattern on the bottom with ski plate on the bottom um if you see that one this is regular ones you know it just comes in black and different color as well so that's uh, some of the difference and uh it also comes with a 3.8 liter V6, producing about 291 horsepower, made it to 8-speed automatic. Both come with front bias all-wheel drive system. And um, let me just show you from here. From the side, we have a new 20-inch rim design. That's for calligraphy. And this is for the regular ones, wearing 245, 50 by 20 on front and back. Size-wise, it's the same, but just different pattern. So uh, guys, do let me know which one do you like. I, I personally like my uh, five-spoke rim design. It just looks more rugged. So for the calligraphy model, it's painted on the wheel arches. And for the regular one, it's not painted. So some difference there. And just like any other Hyundai Palisade, um, these sections never meet. Yeah, we have so many people here, but just really wanted to show you. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be also a first drive, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, Looks pretty much the same. It also comes with two channel built-in uh, black box. And this also supports a uh, remote park assist. We cannot show it to you here, but yes, you can lock the car, start the car and pull it out of tight spot. So it says Palisade here, h -track. I do like this uh, sort of a green color. Uh, we still have a dual tip muffler on the right side and a uh, skid plate for calligraphy model. And, uh, this is something new for the uh, new Hyundai Palisade. It comes with this uh, connected reflector. Sort of reminds me of new Hyundai Santa Fe design. Right. And trunk is pretty nice. Can of course pull the third row seats automatically like this. And also drop the second row seats like that and uh, it yields very nice room inside um, same thing some storage area here uh, fire extinguisher and they'll probably give you some tools and fix a flat kit okay now let me just uh, quickly quickly show you the uh, third row seats you guys know I'm about 6'2 and uh, you know, for short trips, there's a good amount of leg room and headroom. It's pretty all right. And uh, they still give you some cup holder, charging ports. And for the new Refresh 2023 Hyundai Palisade, they give you this. It's, it does not light, but it gives you three stage heated seats for even third row passengers. So that should be very, very nice. Um, Nice uh, headliner on the top and you can also get uh, Hyundai Palisade with either seven or eight seats and 
I got mine with uh, seven seats and it's pretty nice. If you ask me, I would definitely, definitely recommend you to get it with seven seats uh, with captain chairs in the middle. I have two daughters. They really love their captain chairs. Uh, if you just get it with eight seats, then you have a bench in the middle. I can just uh, straight walk through here. And let me just uh, show you the second row seats. Um, everything is pretty much the same. We have a shade on the side, cup holders, and three stage heated and ventilation seats, climate control, some charging port on the bottom, and dual screen on the top. But it also comes with uh, something new, is a different seat pattern, and they also give you this uh, wing type headdress so you can really make it comfortable okay so yeah still very nice place to be okay, okay now let me just uh, show you the car from the driver's seat okay so uh, this is a regular model and when you do get in you can definitely see that it's got new steering wheel system um, the designs I'm really big fan because this is supposed to be a flagship SUV from Hyundai, but this one looks very similar to the ones from Hyundai Tucson. So, I mean, like I told you, this is flagship, I mean, SUV. So, really wish uh, Hyundai would give in something, you know, special for Hyundai Palisade. And uh, we have a different uh, simulated wood right here. And uh, we also get large head-up display on the top and 12.3 inch gauge cluster with higher resolution graphics. Uh, mine came with 7 inch screen in the middle so it looks much better. And to the right we also have... It's, can you turn it on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It also comes with a 12 inch screen which is a lot larger than mine. Mine comes with uh, came with a 10.2 inch screen and it's a very nice play, uh, place. And, uh, if you can see, uh, it also comes with the new event design. Um, it looks like a Genesis GV80, um, just seamlessly goes horizontally. And uh, if you can notice, uh, this also comes as a black trim. Uh, it used to come as a silver. So in a very shiny day, I could not really read it, but in black, it's I do like it. And uh, it also comes, I huh, wish I can turn this on. Oh, it, is, it does. Um, it also comes with the uh, auto, what do you call it, uh, AC controller here. It's, you can straight touch on here and it's um, color too. So it's pretty, pretty nice, neatly done. And uh, well, other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same. We have a dial type gear selector, auto hold, dry mode selector, three stage heated and ventilation seats, heated steering wheel and pretty nice place to be. And as a one thing, um, it also comes with massaging seats for the driver's seat. So that's something I do not have and really in these. Okay, so that's about the uh, regular trim. Let me just show you the regular one. Regular one comes with uh, not painted wheel arches, different wheel designs. And from here, all this part is done in black. High black, glossy black even the bottom section. So that's a little bit different. This one looks more like my Hyundai Palisade. That one, calligraphy ones, looks a little bit more bling blingish. So let me just show the car from the rear if any different. Yeah, uh, it also comes with different low bumper design, but except that it looks pretty much the same. So this is what the, uh, the calligraphy looks like. Leg support works like this and different pattern and simulated wood trim. So I do like this uh, calligraphy a little bit better. And there's one more thing. And this top section for the calligraphy model is a little bit different. If you see the, the regular one, regular one is just like a, if you see the regular one, it's, it's all same, like my hard plastic for the silver, but calligraphy model came with the uh, different material on the top. And I'm hearing you guys will be getting this 2023 refresh Hyundai Palisade sometime this summer in North America here in Korea starting today. And uh, there's no international pricing given 
yet, but I think it's going to be very close to the 2022 year models. So expect it to start around 33k US dollars and go all the way up to 49k US dollars. So hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye bye.